Hi everyone, my name is Hadrian and I am here today to talk to you about the creation of a socially responsible future through three fundamental pillars. Quality, passion and sustainability. I am part of a family of authentic craft brewers which have managed to stick around for 150 years. Indeed, 150 years. Four generations of redeveloping, redesigning and reshaping to meet the demands of our customers whilst at the same time protecting the possibility for future generations to do the same. Now, the last part of that is the most important part. Protecting the possibility for future generations to do the same. As the youngest member of my family and feeling as though I have had a lot to prove, I have always hoped that one day I myself could be responsible for the future of our family business. I dreamed that this responsibility would be placed onto my shoulders, yet recently I have been drawn more to the responsibility of the business itself, and that is what I am here today to talk to you about. So the first pillar I wanted to discuss is quality. Growing up between four basic ingredients, being water, yeast, grains, and hops, I have truly realized just how important each ingredient is when it comes down to creating a beer people love. If only one ingredient is limited in quality, it will have an impact on the whole production process. Because after all, a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. Growing up, I also quickly noticed that by knowing the origin of our ingredients, and each link of our supply chain, we could easily maximize the quality of our products. Working intimately with the farmers growing the crops, the brewers overseeing the production processes of our beers, and the barkeepers selling the finished goods in their pubs, creates a sense of equity and trust within each link of our supply chain. But quality does not just mean good beers, no. It also means having a great customer service that helps consumers enjoy their experience even more. A customer service that is available at any one time, even after the sale. And so when you go around and visit the brewery, you will see a lot of office space being dedicated to this type of customer service. This is where we track in computers all of our customer complaints and where we conduct regular customer satisfactory surveys. Because as you probably already knew, customers are the ultimate judges of quality. Now, the second pillar I wanted to talk about is passion. Passion is a strong drive that turns a will into an action. It is the fuel my dad, his colleagues, and previous generations used to be persistent and creative. Because the more the passionate the employee, the more enthusiasm and motivation he will have to succeed. And this passion makes the weight on the shoulders of those in charge much lighter because it frames the responsibility and the work as an opportunity to practice what you enjoy doing the most rather than framing this opportunity, uh, this responsibility and this work as a burden. For me, this passion is a sense of pride Pride about the fact that after 150 years of tradition, the brewery is still alive and kicking today. And for the consumers, passion is a way of showing integrity. Because they will notice that you are, have a strong desire to satisfy their customer needs and that you are not just out there to make a quick buck. And so it is only when people get to see the time and energy and dedication that went into producing your beers or your products that you will find these people highly excited about becoming your customer. The third, most recent, but perhaps even most important pillar is sustainability. It is only the fourth generation that introduced this into the company's core values, yet it is one that is as significant as the previous two, quality and passion. One, we have consistently been improving on throughout our existence. So whilst we used the burning of coal as the main source of energy in the early 1900s, we evolved towards energy from greener and more renewable resources today, with 100% of all our electricity being completely renewable. 
We are also trying to incorporate as much of a circular economy into our business strategy as possible. 94% of all our waste is reused and recycled back into new materials or even fermented into a biomethanization installation to produce soil conditioner or uh, soil fertilizer. This fertilizer is then given to the farmers to grow their crops and these crops we then use to, gr to brew our beers. Circular. And at the beginning, I said that we aim to protect the possibility for future generations to be able to do the same. Well, sustainability is exactly that. It prevents us from depleting the natural resources future generations might need. Sustainable businesses help us meet our demands now, but do not compromise future generations to meet theirs. And so that is why when you decide to spend or invest your money into a company, Sustainability is something that needs a lot of consideration. Now, look, I just wanted to say that I grew up with this and throughout my life it has taught me a valuable lesson. Businesses built on socially responsible criteria like these last the longest because you consumers decided so. This is a realization that we should all now shift towards socially responsible spending and investing because you consumers have the power to decide which firms stay in business and which don't. And this pandemic has been a historical opportunity for all of us consumers to redecide our habitual spending patterns. We were able to pause, analyze, and rethink about the way in which we spend our money on a daily basis. So let's use this opportunity to move forward in a quality-full, passion-overflowing, sustainable world. Because as famous philosopher Eric Hoffer once said, the only way to predict the future is to have the power to shape the future. Well, we, or you, consumers, have the power to shape the future by investing in those businesses that tick the box for socially responsible criteria. Criteria that include every single one of us and that help us build a better future for the planet tomorrow. So if there is one thing I want you to take away from this talk, it's this. What you buy today has the ability to shape the future of our planet tomorrow. So let me kindly ask you to raise your glasses to the future of our planet. Thank you very much.